Hello, you doers. 我是克里斯汀。Restaurant Golden Ramsay 自从1998年起就是戈登餐饮集团的旗舰餐厅。2001年拿下了米其林三星之后，就一路维持了超过二十年的登峰造极。这中间除了老板戈登以外，最重要的关键角色就是在厨房掌管大小事务，也是在戈登背后最重要的灵魂人物 Matt Abe。Hi, I'm Matt Bay. My role here as a chef de cuisine at Restaurant Gordon Ramsay is to maintain standards, to keep the customers, the guests happy, keep my team happy. This guy who may feel a bit difficult to relate to is the head of the restaurant in the whole restaurant system, next to his man, Matt Abe. Born in Australia, Matt, who is the main reason for entering the restaurant industry, is due to the influence of the restaurant industry. Early on in my career, I had this desire to, to, work, in, to work in fine dining. Um, I think through watching television programs and things like that kind of inspired me and uh, watching Boiling Point and lifestyle programs really drove me to make those decisions. Gordon 第一次认识 Matt Abe 是在伦敦的一间饭店 Claridge's. Gordon 当时在那边成立餐厅，认识了这位来自澳洲、年轻、优秀又具备优异味蕾的小子，便决定找 Matt 加入他最重要的招牌餐厅。So it's small, it's intimate. Literally 14 tables, 44 seats. So it functions five days a week. There's 25 staff that run the dining room and 25 cooks in the kitchen. Headed up by Matt Abe, controls the uh, pass that side. We've got the fish, the meat, the sauce, the garnish, pasta, and then through the back there is the most amazing pastry. Gordon 对 Matt 赞不绝口。他曾说 ，Matt 能够在蒙着眼睛的状态下吃出放了二十五种不同食材的一口食物。它就像是一颗精雕细琢过后的钻石。而十年之前，则是未经雕磨的裸钻。对于这位认真负责的年轻人，你很难想象整天喷人的戈登对他只有称赞没有批评。戈登说 ，Restaurant Golden Ramsay 就像是餐饮界里面的曼联足球队，所有人都只想要追求完美，如果没有达到就会不爽，所以压力山大。很少有人能够承受这种压力，但是 Matt 可以。二十一岁的 Matt 以领班身份进入戈登餐厅任职，四年后的二零一五年接掌厨房重任，成为主厨，直到二零二零年九月又再次晋升为跟戈登同等阶级的 Co-Chef Patron。Winning three Michelin stars was a dream. Maintaining it is even harder. You don't find chefs like Matt that often. Taking the reins and running this business, Matt's been working alongside me for ten years. Matt knows me inside out. I'm straight to the point with no bullshit. From this point, you can see that Gordon is very trusting him, letting him take care of everything. Matt, in 2020, was selected as the best chef in the top 99 chefs. This award also made him a legend in the restaurant world. In the future, there is no limit to how good Matt is. Golden Ramsay's which dish is the best to represent Matt? It's this dish used in the British island of Dexter region's new chef dish. 这一道菜也是出自于 Matt 的创作。先把熟成牛油加热，配上点百里香、迷迭香、月桂叶和大蒜逼油，把牛小排去骨，喷枪炙烧表面以后，放入真空袋，加入刚才的牛油，用五十八度低温油封，烹调四到八小时。煮完取出来以后，烧烤上色。接着是制作酱汁，会把熟成牛鞭肉炒上色以后。加入红葱头、大蒜、黑胡椒粒、百里香和月桂叶，接着用白酒醋炝锅，再加入半瓶白兰地，收掉一半水分之后，再加入整瓶红酒和两公升鸡高汤和两公升小牛高汤，煮滚以后，小火收汁过滤，最后再加入一点点白酒醋，再来会把牛骨髓放入木屑烟熏锅子当中，低温烟熏五分钟到柔软，冷却之后再切成小丁状。请出甜豆和去皮豌豆，用调味过的盐水煮软，配上炙烧过的小洋葱片。盛盘时会先铺上一些豌豆泥，放上一块牛小排，刷上棕黄奶油和海盐黑胡椒，再来放上甜豆、豌豆、小洋葱和生菜，以及一些豌豆芽跟装饰。最后再淋上烟熏过的骨髓丁和酱汁。我的妈呀！光是看这一道菜就很难想象到底要花多少时间、多少人力才能够完成这一道料理。从这一道菜就可以看出 Matt 讲究功法、一丝不苟的严谨态度，更不用说整份套餐都要像这一道菜一样讲究功法，非常令人难以置信。
。在去年底升职为餐厅共同负责人之后 ，Matt 也认知到自己的角色转变。Uh, the biggest difference for me now, standing this side of the pass instead of in the kitchen,、uh, is allowing myself to orchestrate the service, watch over the guys, and to make sure that you know, everything's coming together properly. How have I changed in the last 10 years? Well, there's been a lot of change.、Uh, I've grown as a chef. My palate's developed.、Uh, I've grown with confidence.、Uh, you know, I've grown in my managerial skills and my leadership and leading the team. Matt 也有在经营自己的 IG， 里面有相当多美到令人窒息的料理贴文。也有食材来源、身边同事以及生活点滴。如果你热爱料理，一定要订阅追踪起来。Matt 平常休闲的时候就喜欢跟着他的老婆游山玩水，两个人一起到风景优美的地方放松旅游，缓解厨房那种高压的环境。Matt 的老婆 Sally a b e 也是另外一间米其林一星餐厅的主厨，他们两个人都是当时在 c l a r i g e s t 哥伦餐厅工作的厨师。两个人，一个离开戈登体系，一个留在里面继续深造，双方都成为了能够独当一面的优秀厨师。我是克里斯蒂，喜欢影片的话，记得帮我按赞、分享跟订阅频道。如果你想要看到我介绍哪一位料理名厨的话，欢迎你在下面敲碗留言。那我们下支影片再见喽，拜拜。